Hello everyone and welcome to another Time to Fly Drone and AI Tutorials video. In this video I'm going to quickly show you how to bind the FR Sky XAR receiver to the FR Sky Tyrannus transmitter. It's a really simple process that only involves a few steps. So let's get started. First thing to note with this particular receiver and with most receivers is that you have a PWM option and an S plus option. What this means is that when you are sending your uh, controls to your um, flight controller and then to your ESCs, you can either control these using PWM outputs using these eight pins, or you can use an S plus output using this pin. I'll be using the S plus S bus output because of its advantage in that it only requires one pin or one wire to send this output signal. And it also allows the ability to uh, command up to 16 channels, which you can't do with only these eight PWM inputs. So in order to power the receiver, um, you need some kind of power source that's going to supply five volts. So I'll be using this old power distribution board from a previous quadcopter. And as long as you can get five volts with two cables um, to the receiver, then you're good to go. So to actually power the receiver, you're going to need to take your power and ground cables and make sure you put them into the right S bus pins. So you can tell which ones are correct based on some print above um, on top of the receiver. So the far right pin is used for ground, the middle pin is for power, and then the leftmost pin is for your signal. In this case, I've got the brown wire for ground and red for power. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And we can see the red light blinking, meaning that receiver is um, powered on, but it is not connected. It is not bound to any transmitter. So now let's get started with the transmitter side of things and setting that up. So the first thing we're going to have to do with the Tyrannus is create a new model to um, bind the receiver to. So the way you can do that is uh, when you're in your main menu is either press enter or um, if you have the scroll wheel option, hold down the scroll wheel and you can press create model. I'm just going to select a multi-rotor um, just for simplicity. And you can just skip through these uh, channel settings. With your flight controller, if you're using a Pixhawk or um, maybe Ardu Pilot's um, flight controller, in specific ground control station, you can uh, reassign these channels. So you can just hit page for now to skip through all of these. And once you've reached the end, make sure to enter long to confirm. So now we have our model two created. One thing to note is make sure you have the asterisk next to your model because this will actually make sure that the model is selected. If you're just hovering over the model isn't sufficient. You have to make sure you have the asterisk there. So now let's go into the model settings by pressing the page button. And so here I mean, you have all your settings that you can um, like set for this model. I'll just be focusing on the binding process. So either by scrolling all the way down to the page or actually just scrolling in reverse will get you to the bottom. And here we have this internal RF function and this is where we'll set the, the binding procedure. So by pressing this mode off, we can toggle it to this D16 mode. And you have the option of selecting either between one and eight or one to 16 channels. I'm just gonna keep all 16 channels open. And the neat thing with the Tranus transmitters is that you can bind several receivers to the transmitter. Um, like if you have several different models and you have a different receiver for each model, then you can highlight this number and select a different receiver for each of those models. So you don't have to bind a different a bind a receiver every single time you're gonna fly a different um, quadcopter or um, plane. So to actually bind the receiver, we need to set the transmitter into um, its binding phase. So hover the bind, uh, the bind uh, number right here, and then just press enter. And for now, you can just select any of these options really. And you'll hear this chirping sound. So this chirping sound indicates that the transmitter is in the binding option, the binding process, and it's waiting for a receiver to connect. So now for the receiver to actually bind it, what we're gonna have to do is first press down this fail safe, this FS button, and then uh, at that same moment, power on the receiver. This is gonna bind the two together. And then once that is done, we disc, we disc remove the power from the receiver and uh, we'll have our binding process complete. So what I'm gonna do first is 
feed this in a little bit just to make it a little easier to power on um, just because I have two hands. So now I'm going to take my pencil, press in the FS button, power on the receiver, release the FS button, and now you can see that we have this red blinking light and this green saw light. So once you have that, remove the power from the receiver. Now go back to your transmitter with the bind still selected, press enter. So now the chirping has stopped. So that's the binding process. We have our x now bound to the Tranus. To just confirm that real quickly, we can power back on our receiver. So using the three pins for SBUS, we power it on. And we see that now we have a green saw light. This means that our receiver is bound to our transmitter. That wraps up my quick little video on how to bind the FR Sky X8R receiver to the Tyrannus X9D transmitter. As you can see, the binding process is just a few short steps, and once you've done it once, you're good to go on any other receiver and transmitter combination. If you have any questions on the binding process, make sure to drop those in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Time to Fly Drone and AI Tutorials, to stay up to date on more drone and AI related content. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.